guess we don't want to hunt in here.
them. And then, of course, as they're digging into the earth, find the remains of many of those British soldiers who were killed in 1758. The New Jersey troops are sent out to the sandy plain that you all drove through. And if you would look towards the lake as you pass the ticket booth, you would... Stop touch all. Now we've created a vacuum tight seal inside of our bear. From here we can sponge pee. The sponge is inserted, turned three times around. Now to ensure that any embers that might be inside are pulled on out and listen for the vacuum seal. That ensures that if there even were, the vacuum will pull out any oxygen to distinguish it from inside. Now we're ready to handle cartridge. Our cartridge is brought forward, put it in the barrel. Puts it in the barrel, and on top of this, we load a wad. Wad the cartridge. Wad is loaded, and that man to the front right is ordered handle rammer. Rammer's handled, and he'll pack down cartridge and wad. With five to six good thrusts, it's all packed down to the breach. Yet he'll leave that rammer there. Man to the rear left will handle his pin, and he'll try if the cartridge be home. This ensures that if that cartridge is not packed, they'll pack it down more. If it is, in fact, packed all the way down to the breach, the order to recover rammer. They'll pull it all the way on out, and we're ready to shot the piece. Shot's loaded inside our gun. On top of this goes our wad. We ram it all home. Ram down, shot, wad. Everything's packed on down to the breach, good and tight. Here we plug touch hole. Lay on the apron. Take up your frozen hand spike. Run out the piece. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. The men stay in their positions with their crows and hand spikes. The man who primes is ordered to handle priming horn. He receives the priming horn and he'll begin to prime. And we balance up a little amount of priming charge over the rear, ensuring there's something to light off as we go to fire. The lay on the apron and secure powder. From here, we will point the gun to the object, at which time our crows and hand spikes come back into play. Imagine now a petty officer or maybe even a midshipman or officer will hop in behind the gun. Using his thumbnails, he'll sight in on a target downrange. He'll take the time to pick out a specific target. Now these men, myself included, we act as the manpower to move the gun around to hit our target. He'll use his voice to move the gun up or down, whether he needs to elevate or depress. Well, he'll use his hands to move the gun side to side, whether going to the right or coming back onto the left. In any case, once he's satisfied with the shot, the order to lay down crows and hands fire. Everyone will depart from the rear of the piece, at which time the man who fires, in this case myself, is ordered to take your match and blow it. Quite literally taking this match, ensuring it's still lit. If it's not, we're not firing. Now once this match is in fact lit, it's glowing red hot, be brought to the front of the piece in order to fire. Take up your crows and hand spikes, lay on the apron. 
run out the piece. Now that step-by-step -step procedure, while it may seem slow and really take a long time, it's not meant for a typical speed. It's meant for a slow, deliberate, well-calculated fire. Not just one gun fire, but maybe eight guns.